In this intermediate level PowerPoint tutorial, I'm going to show you the video options that you have in modern versions of PowerPoint. And for this tutorial, I'm using PowerPoint 2016. But if you have a fairly recent version of PowerPoint or a future version of PowerPoint, these steps are likely going to be very, very similar, if not identical. If you haven't already watched my beginner's guide to PowerPoint, you really should watch that before watching this video. So what I have here is the beginnings of a PowerPoint about eclipses, lunar eclipses, solar eclipses, etc. But I'd really like to utilize some video in this presentation. Fortunately, PowerPoint gives us a few different options to choose from. So I'm going to create a new slide just by going up and clicking new slide and I get a generic slide that pops up. The first method of adding a video that I want to show you is right here on the screen in front of us. Whenever you add pretty much any of these pre-designed slide layouts, in most cases you're going to get a rectangle that appears here and it has these little icons here. Well one of those icons deals with video and it's this one, insert video. So if the slide that you're working on in PowerPoint has this icon, just go ahead and click that and that may be the best option for you. And here, PowerPoint gives us three options for adding video. The first is inserting it from a file. And this is a great option. This is perfect for when you already have a video, a video that's on your computer, or maybe you've downloaded one from the internet to your computer, but that video resides now on your actual computer, not just on the internet somewhere, but on your computer. So this is great for family videos, it's great for videos that you've taken yourself with a camera, or like I said, ones that you've downloaded and stored on your computer. So let's try this one first. I'm going to go to Browse and click, and here on my desktop I have a video from NASA that I would like to include in my PowerPoint presentation. And all I have to do is double click on it to insert it into my slide. There it is, and now I can resize that video if I'd like to, and in many cases you will want to. You'll want to make it fill the whole screen or make it pretty close to the whole screen in many cases. If you really wanted to, you could, in addition to resizing it using the corners, you could use this curvy arrow and just click and drag to rotate the video, which is kind of a fun effect. So basically position the video how you want it to be when it's displayed for the audience. Now I can click play here, but that doesn't really help much. So I'm going to stop that video. We are just in design mode here. This is not the presentation mode, so it doesn't really tell us exactly what the viewer is going to see when the video comes up. So let's go ahead and test that now and see what it looks like when students watch the PowerPoint presentation. So I just clicked here on the first slide and I'm going to go down and click the present slideshow button. There's slide one, there's slide two. And I can just click when I'm ready to play this video for my students. I can click on the play button and it begins. Total eclipse of the moon. I'm going to stop the video there. Notice that you do have a volume control, which is nice to have, so that you can turn the volume up and down as the video is playing. I'm going to tap escape on the keyboard to get out of presentation mode. So that is the first way to add a video to your presentation. Let's look at the second way. Again, I'm going to click the insert video button. The second option that we have is YouTube. We can search YouTube from within PowerPoint. So I want to just do a quick search for solar eclipse. Let's see what it finds. Here's one from BBC One. That looks interesting. So I can click on that, click insert, and it's embedding, basically, that YouTube video into my slide. Again, just like before, I can resize the video. However, in this case, for some reason, it doesn't look like it lets me rotate the video, but that's okay. So I'm just going to position that video the way I want it to be. And let's test out this second method of adding videos to our PowerPoint presentations. There's the first video. And now the second, that's a YouTube video. Now one thing that I've found with YouTube videos, you generally have to wait a few seconds for it to fully load into PowerPoint. And that's usually just true of the first time that that slide is called up. So if you want to get rid of that delay, just start up your presentation before it's time to begin and go through each of your slides. That way the YouTube video will load up and then you can go back to the beginning. And now when you actually present, it should immediately load your YouTube video in. 
when you want to play the video for the audience, just go ahead and click the play button. And this is playing a YouTube video from within PowerPoint. It's embedded. I'm gonna escape out of that. And now let's look at a third method for inserting video into a PowerPoint slide. Again, I'm gonna to go to new slide, click this button, the third option is to paste an embed code into this box from a video embed code. Now to be honest with you, I have had very poor luck with this third option. I've tried embed codes from Vimeo, I've tried embed codes from local television websites and things like that, and I get the embed code, I paste it in there and it tells me that it can't embed it. So this is another option to try. Let's say there's a video on a website and it's not YouTube and there's no way to download it. Look for an embed code option, copy the embed code, paste it in here and see if it works. After you paste it in, you have to click this arrow to try to insert that video into your slide. But just being honest with you, I've had very poor luck with this third option. So those are the three main options for getting videos into your PowerPoint slides. But let's say you don't wanna go through the inconvenience of having to insert a new slide just to get this box and this little icon for video. Let's say you've chosen for your new slide to just use a blank slide and you don't wanna to have to go back and delete that and insert a new slide that has that rectangle. Well, you're in luck. You can just go here to insert and over to the right, you can choose video and there's two options that appear, online video, which would be YouTube for the most part, or video on my own PC. So of those three options, there's only two that I tend to have good luck with, inserting videos from my own PC and also videos from YouTube. If your computer is not connected to the internet, this video from YouTube is not going to play. And let's say you're at a school or a location where YouTube is blocked, it's not gonna play in that situation either. All right, the last thing I wanted to tackle in this video is I wanted to show you that once you've got your videos into PowerPoint, you can click on a particular video and you get a couple of video tools tabs. You get a format tab and you get a playback tab. So really quickly, it's important that you know about what you can do with these. With format tab, you can do some corrections to the video. You can change its brightness or contrast. You can also recolor the video if you want to. You can give your video a frame if you would like. Okay, so there's some nice options there. You can even change its shape. And there's shape options over here as well. And video effects. So you can bevel the video if you would like. Or do a 3D rotation. So there's some fun options that you can play with. I'm gonna undo those. We also have a playback tab. And in the playback tab, these may be the most important options of all when it comes to video. Notice that you can do things like trim the video. You can click there and trim out the beginning of the video where maybe there's a logo or something like that. You can also trim out the end of the video. Just click OK and the trimming happens. You can put a fade in and fade out if you'd like. You can change the volume options. And then this might be the most important part. When do you want the video to play? Do you want it to play when it's clicked? That's what the default is. Or do you want to make it play automatically? When that slide is activated, the video plays. In this case, that's what I want, but you might choose something else. You might also choose to make it play full screen and or to hide while not playing. And there are a few other options that you can look at here. So with me having chosen to make it play full screen and to start automatically, let's see what my slideshow looks like now, at least for this first video. I start it up. It's deja vu all over again. For the third time in less than a year. So the video started to play immediately and it played full screen. So those really are all the options that you really need to know about in order to start using videos in your PowerPoint presentations. Thanks for watching this intermediate PowerPoint video tutorial and please do watch my beginner's guide to using PowerPoint. And I've chosen to follow that up with a series of intermediate videos and then also eventually I'd like to post some advanced PowerPoint videos. So watch for future intermediate PowerPoint and advanced PowerPoint videos on my channel. If you found this video to be helpful, please click the like button below and consider connecting with me on my social media websites like Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. And definitely do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos about technology for teachers and students. And watch for another video from me at least every Monday.